Hi everyone, I'm Rob DeLisi with Stonegate Legal Services and today's video we're going to talk about the top five things all landlords should avoid. I get plenty of calls every day of landlords complaining about their tenants, but it's not always the tenant's problem. The landlords have a responsibility as well. So let's go through five things that a landlord should avoid. Number one is putting off maintenance requests. This is your property. In accordance to Section 20 of the Residential Tenancies Act, you have a duty to upkeep and repair the property. It's in your benefit as a landlord to repair the property. Number one, you save your property from being damaged. And number two, you have a happy tenant. Number two is delaying servicing, serving notices. You need to remember that when you own rental properties, you must treat it like a business. This means that if rent is not being paid on the day that it's due, the next day you should give them a notice of an N4 for non-payment of rent. If you delay servicing notices, the tenants think that you are a neglectful landlord and they don't take you as seriously. So remember, make sure you serve the notices in a timely manner. Number three, not visiting the property. As a landlord, you should set up a regular schedule of seeing your property, whether it's going to be for checking on uh, smoke alarms or maintenance issues. You should be regularly visiting the property. And then this way, the tenants know that you care about the property. Again, mutual respect. Number four, entering the unit illegally. No matter what property you own, before you go into a rental unit, you should be giving proper legal notice to the tenant, letting them know that you're going into the property. You should give a reason, a date, um, who will be attending. All these things should be in your notice. I always tell people, if you want to communicate with email, that's fine, but the legal way would be to post it on the door and take a picture and come back 24 hours later. If you have a good relationship with the tenant and you email them saying, look, I'm coming by, I'm going to be doing some maintenance requests, is that fine? If it's in writing, that will be helpful. Last but not least is avoid illegal evictions. We get landlords all the time saying that the rent is too low or the tenants are not getting along, whatever the case is, is that they want to find a reason to evict their tenant. And I always tell people, avoid illegal evictions because later on it will bite you in the butt. So I hope these five reasons of what you should be avoiding is helpful to you. And if you have any questions, just leave us a comment.